Well, we had a couple of you very interested in the River Ranch by Columbus. Yes. So we're gonna walk through it today. Some revolutionary stuff. Some stuff that you will never see on any other fifth wheel in yeah. the industry. Very interesting stuff. Not really for us. No. Not our cup of tea. But, but I it's think, cool. I think a lot of you will be interested in it, seeing it, this. It's nice. Yeah. It does have the stable stairs, but you can see when you walk up into this thing, there's a couple of extra stairs. And the reason for that is that this unit is completely flat all the way across. There's no stairs inside. The only stairs are all the way up into here. It has a little gate here to keep any pets or children from falling down the stairs and going in there. But let me show you, when you come into here, it's a, it's a pretty typical fifth wheel setup with your dining room, your living space, your couch that folds out into a sleeper, your ceiling fan, entertainment area with your fireplace, all pretty standard stuff. Huge island. Very long island. Which is could crazy. Be good, could be bad, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, and then of course over here you have your kitchen area with your stove, your microwave, residential fridge, which I believe is an LG. Yes. Yeah. And lots of uh, cupboard space over here. So lots of stuff for your pantry. Food. If you move down the hallway, it does have the in-touch one control, which is great. Down here into the awesome, awesome bathroom with the dual sink, vanity, huge shower. It connects into the bedroom where you have a fireplace and a televator. Your washer dryer would go into this side of the closet, which frees up the rest of this entire closet space. It's a little more storage up top here. So it's very unique that you can stand here and you can see all the way in to the living room area. The only con I see from this is that because everything is elevated, the ceiling clearance is not as tall as it is in a regular fifth wheel. Now you're, get, you're definitely getting more of a class A ceiling feel, I think, in here. I agree with that. Because you don't get the, the arched dome of a, of a fifth wheel. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's a nice, it's a nice rig. And if you look at the picture here, like in the brochure, you'll see uh, because it has the central air conditioning system, there are no air conditioning units on the top of this. So when you're standing out there and you're looking at this thing, it looks like it, it, it looks like it's taller than a regular fifth wheel, but it's really not. It is still your standard, you know, 13 feet, couple inches, whatever. It looks like somebody's been uh, riding the furniture pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you. That's why, <laughs> that's why you don't buy RVs from this show. <laughs> and people like you don't review them. <laughs> Look, I, I never claim to be a professional RV walkthrough reviewer guy, but um, so you might not get all the facts. In fact, you, you probably won't get most of the facts, <laughs> but it'll be fun. Yeah. It'll be a fun walk through. Less entertaining. Um, let's go and look at some of the outside stuff, and I'll talk about some of the technical numbers and stuff, which are probably wrong also. <laughs> this is the River Ranch by Columbus, the 390RL. And look at the storage space in here. This is ridiculous all of the storage space is up under this fifth wheel and believe it or not this is where the air conditioning system is there are no ac units on top of this rv it's an hvac system 
not only do you have all that storage back there you have all of this storage up here as well you could put a lot of crap in here all right i'm going to talk a little bit more about this air conditioning unit this air conditioning unit is more like your residential air conditioning unit back at your house in a sticks and bricks now the question that we got asked to us which we asked the the dealer is can you run this air conditioning unit because it's one unit that runs throughout the entire rv can you run this unit on 30 amp service so if you're at a place that only has 30 amp versus 50 amp can you run it and the answer is yes you can it won't run as strong as if you were hooked into 50 amp but you can run this air conditioner unit it'll run at about half capacity hooked up to 30 amp but it won't pop a circuit it will just run slightly lighter than it would in full normal full power there are four slides on this rv you have two in the bedroom that oppose to give you some more walk around space and then you have the opposing slides on the uh, on the living room space also i probably wouldn't recommend this this coach for anybody who is like handicapped or mobility challenged because yeah, no. you got all these stairs and those stairs up there are Hard tall narrow. stairs to get up into this thing um but it's nice you can access the storage again from here all that huge storage that's down there and on this side you can see the two slides from this side you got your your living room slide here your opposing slide that connects to your living space and your kitchen and then this is your bedroom it's cool to have opposing slides in the bedroom because it just opens that bedroom space up to be able to, to walk through get ready or whatever and this version of it is the the full body paint so you're going to pay about ten thousand extra dollars for that yeah. thoughts questions concerns on the uh 390 rl thoughts river ranch by columbus pretty beautiful it is it is a luxury fit could you live in it absolutely yeah i think i could too. oh yeah i mean i don't think i don't you could live in storage apparently because yeah. it's huge i don't think that we would buy it and live in it i think it's a little much for us yeah. I think we're a little more simpler than that, but... And it's long. How long is this thing? It's long. <laughs> it's 40 something. <laughs> like I said, I hope, you, I hope you didn't come here looking for a good RV review. <laughs> uh, it's long. It's long. It's really long. It's really heavy. <laughs> but it's the same height as others. Yeah. If you consider that, if you go from the total height from the top of the, from the AC to the ground, in comparison, this one goes from the from the ground just to the ceiling. the ceiling. Same height because all the air conditioner stuff is underneath. So they had to jack everything up. That's why you see all those, those extra stairs yeah. leading into it. Which I don't know that I'd want stairs in my doorway like that. Yeah, that that's my hang up is that front part. Yeah, I might rather have the door the stairs inside going up into a bedroom. Yeah. And I like I like the headspace in a regular fifth wheel. Yeah. It makes it feel bigger. That's what we're used to. Yeah, this kind of has that, like you said, that Class A or that travel trailer kind of... It's a little taller wow. inside than a travel trailer would be. Yeah, but more like the Class more A. More like a Class A wheel. ceiling height. Yeah. But again, we're so used to living in a fifth wheel that with so, these yeah. huge bowed ceilings that I don't think we could... I don't think we could go back it to... It feel a, like we shrunk. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, if you want to see any of the specs, weights, lengths, all that stuff we'll put a link yeah. to columbus rv in the description below because we just don't know and it's the fifth day of the show and i really don't care to look at it look it up so go look it up yourself <laughs> um but yeah really cool rig if you want to go check it out go yeah. check out their website uh leave us a comment let us know what you thought about the river ranch um or if our wonderful review talked you into one let us know if we sold one to you, definitely We'd let us know. We great salespeople. Yeah. No. River Ranch is going to contact us and be like, take don't, it down. Don't take ever, the video down. Don't ever do that again. Good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready to leave the Tampa show. Yeah. We're closing it down. Yeah. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, if you want to learn all the ways you can help us help vets on the road, look in the description below. It'll tell you everything you need to know. We appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.